our journey heading south, we stopped off at Bitter Guana Key to check out the pink iguanas. After making it to Lee Stocking Island, we relocated to another anchorage for the night. The next morning, we woke up and went island exploring and lobster diving. He just wants to narrate and tell me what he looks like. Go get him, Cam. <laughs> Big boy coming to the boat. <laughs> I got it. Let That's me see. Good. Wow, Cam. Good job, bro. That's awesome. That was a battle. Huge. I pull up. Nice job, Cam. Oh, bucket. That is a monster. Hey, yo, get it, get it, right there. That bucket with the lobster. It's a big ocean. Nice job. That was now deep. Now it's just going. Yeah, it's like 25 feet deep. It's nice the best I've gone. Yeah. Do we have the anchor? Oh. No, is it going to shoot at my face? Yeah. It's going to barely Start. poke it in there? Put it in and pull. Am I? And pull. Oh, nice. Oh. You got it. Start of it. No, no, all the way it in the harbor. Like all right, there you go. There we go. Hey, when it comes out, you just pull it with your fingers. Because it might right. be. Or Carver, you can pull it here. Yeah, nice job, Carver. Nice. Like Bro, Carver was going to eat it. All right, no, there's no one. No, that's it. said the name of this island was. Do we know? Uh, Machete Island. Machete Island. No, I can't We're gonna go explore it. They're building a little house on top. Oh. Looks like a castle. But the real reason we're here is because we wanted to see Cammy and her Go check it out. Every day, new day of exploring an island. All of them look similar. <laughs> like somebody tried to do something, but it didn't quite work. Apparently the ocean takes its toll on everything here, sadly. A lot of rebar. I don't think it's an active construction site based on the status of this rebar. Hey, hey! Don't hit that on rebar, on metal. That's not what it's for. Too full? Oh yeah, let's see what he does here. It's a cool view. Is he just gonna go for it? I think, think about it. What's the chances that he loses his shield? Okay, he's thinking about it. Oh, it must be heavy. It's metal! It's metal. I don't think it's metal, but I don't think that's coming back. That looks heavy. This looks like a normal job site. Things everywhere. But we got an octagon shaped 
structure, which there's probably just going to be a house on the very highest point. I wish I could remember the name of the island. I thought it was Black something, but let's see what kind of view it's got. Probably got a beautiful view of our boat. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to go all the way through it, but... Ooh, oh, look at the juice, meat. boy. Oh, Come and drink the so juice. Good. Okay, ready? Hold on, hold on. Pour me a cup of that juice. Stand up, bro. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> it's buzzing, buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, hold on, hold on. Cub. One day, <laughs> that's good. One day, Isha, you become man cub, and I become grandpa cub. <laughs> yeah. And that there is how you do a coconut. Now open it. No, we're saving it for when we get on the boat. No. I'm right. making pina coladas tonight. This oh, is a nice nut. All right. Little dad needs an adventure. Coconut balance and balance. All right. Taking a video. Oh. Like it. It was time to head to Georgetown as Capri only had a couple more days left with us before she needed to head to the airport. I haven't done an update for a while. And then last time we stayed at Black Moon, which is just kind of the very northern side of uh, the island that Georgetown is on. Georgetown is on an island called Great Zuma. It's a big island, it's the biggest island. Yeah, so it's been good though. We, we uh, caught a bunch of lobster yesterday, went out again this morning, caught more lobster this morning. So we're making uh, making some boys happy, catching lobster, and you know, just a typical sail day. Two boys fighting, one boy studying fish stuff. Uh, and in a weird turn, we're always out here by ourselves, but we got this guy behind us. So we got a sailboat right behind us, and then we're getting ready to cross paths with this catamaran. So that doesn't happen often. Really, I want to get south, so we'll see. They also say that Georgetown is a place that everybody gets to, and all their big dreams of going south to stop here. People checking out, uh, and just, just don't go. But it's big. After this, bigger crossings, less people, less resources, until you get down into uh, like Puerto Rico. Probably. All right, we made it to Great Exuma, and uh, we're headed over to, not, I say Georgetown, but really it's Stocking Island. So we got this uh, monohull pulled in front of us. But, I'm still on one engine, so I gotta be very careful. This is a tight little inlet here, so I'm hoping, even though it's low tide, that I'm gonna be good to come through here. So, we're gonna play this out. My one chart says no way, the other chart says easy as, as pie. I can't remember the game where the, all the landmines were all over. I tried not to get the landmines, but you had to pick the, you had to pick the little uh, square. That's what this place feels like, just landmines, which are rock outcroppings. So I'm just trying to be smart and not hit those. 
girls are ready, they want to go to chat and chill. Girls? They're ready for chat and chill. The boys are ready. They just want to kill, so they're out there snorkeling. So I guess, I guess we're gonna get ready to go to chat and chill. So these girls are super stoked to go. So I feel like we should take them. We made it to chat and chill where Steve had a private photo session with each member of the family, which we love for him. And because it was so dead, we decided to just take advantage of the beautiful scenery, the boats, the sunset, and just spending time with each other. Today is Wednesday. November the 30th. I love As the morning net. net. I'd like to begin with the calling emergency or no, prior really traffic. Hear it. Urgent traffic, please come now. Hearing none. Here's our agenda for today. Here we are, tied up at the dinghy dock. It's Sunday, so everything's pretty much closed, but that's okay. I'm gonna go check out Georgetown, see what it's all about. And uh, yeah, I got this nice pathway, it leads right out to the road, special for cruisers. <laughs> Apparently nice and tight. Oh my gosh, and out front, a couple girls that we know. What, what? I like it. We missed it. We'll catch the next service. One of the things about life is getting rid of trash. But here in Great Exuma, they got an awesome setup for us. Check this out. Small bags, two dollars. Big bag, three dollars. Put your money in the window. <laughs> oh, one, let's see, one gallon of oil, two, two bucks. That's a pretty good deal. So anyways, so yeah, that's what you do. Right here behind the liquor store, you drop off, drop off your trash. Good job, Camden. I can't remember which way it starts though. Starfish. Dad's being a hero in his own mind. It, That's hard. Yeah, but just it's because it's your first breath. Take another breath, put the thing back in your mouth, and then breathe, and then get calm and do it again. Without goggles, huh? Oh, I have goggles. You're they real, just came off when I jumped in. You're real Kevin Costner. <laughs> the next morning, I got in a much-needed workout before playing homemaker and teacher. I 
anxiety right now looking at these prices I'm like oh. check out these prices little thing of strawberries $13.99 We provisioned the best that we could. We got as much as we freaking could when we could. So now we're having, we're running out. So now, we are running out of eggs. Oh, yeah. honey. <laughs> so stuff that I would usually get, like I typically get like the gluten-free bread mill. I cannot do that. I cannot justify that. <laughs> so I have to get like. Found dark chocolate. But we're getting the essentials. Dark chocolate. So we need no bakes. Mm. We're running out of freaking sugar every five seconds. And it's not cheap. How much your toilet paper? 36 bucks. 36 dollars. 12, 12 rolls. Roll. Uh, and the shelves are kind of bare, so you just take what you can get. So I'm taking this one box for $6.59. Freaking crackers. <laughs> a slower paced life because we just did the grocery shopping Steve and I left the kids um, on the boat and it's a process bringing all the bags and then we pull up to this dock and I just kind of sit here while he goes and fills up some gas cans for the dinghy I don't know it's like a day it takes a whole day but I'm like what the hell else are we gonna do it's weird it's a different life for sure Legit ran out of chickpeas upstairs. So here I am. Probably can't see. Underneath the boy's bed. And I am having to reach in freaking far as I can. Oh my god. Shoot me in the damn face to grab chickpeas. Fun find while I was down here. Apparently, Steve put one of these suckers underneath a bin and it exploded. So now it's wet. Again, for the 5,000th time under here, I'm gonna lose. But the good news, I found more toilet paper! Yeah! Look at that stash. Now I have a $600,000 clone. Preventative maintenance. 
preventative maintenance on the generator. On the generator. Nothing's broken this time. Just air filter change, fuel filter change, oil change, oil filter change. Oh. I got it all scheduled out, so I know how many at what hour number on the hour gauge we need to change them out. So I have it all scheduled and just we're at our hours this time. Yeah. So and it's always super convenient location. This actually is a lot of space. Everything's always been crunched down and similar. So it's fun. That's mechanic work. Yeah. Cool life. I'm gonna work out. Work out. After a week of so much fun, it was time to say goodbye to Capri. We took her to the airport where Malia cried and cried having to say goodbye to her very best friend. We then headed straight to the doctor to try and tackle this ongoing ear infection. Easton was given a prescription and told to stay out of the water. How's your ear? Um, it just feels weird. They're still wet. Hmm. I love you, chicky boom. Chickity boom boom bada boom. and a half later. And if you can't tell, wing foiling is a lot harder than it looks. The boys spent days and days trying to figure it out. I think they finally got it. A big monument, of course. So we're gonna go hike to the top. The boys are gonna make a river wave. And Cammy's gonna hike straight up. I don't know if to hike straight up or not. All right, halfway up the mountain and we saw Something we didn't expect. First thing was that two of our boys didn't join us. But the second thing was that everybody writes their name in rocks down here. In this little pond all the way out there. Look at that. Wow. I'm sure the higher up we get, the better it'll look. But so cool. And it's a beautiful view. It's a beautiful view from here. Isn't that beautiful? There it is. I wanna go just see this little place. So many things, wow. So many wows. Whose place is that? I don't know. I think it's a restaurant, part of a restaurant. We made it! We made it! Human said he wanted to be on video. Hi. Yeah. yeah! What do you think, girls? Cool. Jump in, Cam. Right. Jump in. Woo! <laughs> yes. Nice. Wonderful time of the year. Sugar cookie dough. Just trade me a pencil for a black hole.
turn into a fight now. I can see where it's going. In our last episode, Carver sent Papa home with a note specifically to get a Mr. Beast bar, FaceTime him, and let him know how it tasted. Do we want to be, hey, do you have a speaker in your mouth? We want to be able to hear you chew on it. Oh, yeah. It's a what? It's, it's a, a share. share and devour. It says share and devour. Wait, do you have one to compare it to? Like a, a Hershey's chocolate? Oh, please hang on. I have. <laughs> So, oh Papa, never waste your money on this again. Oh, Carver. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, can we, I wish we could zoom in on your face. Oh, oh no, we lagged. No, we lagged. Melting in my mouth. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's the best chocolate I've had since I was in Peru. <laughs> I swear to from Peru. We're going up to find Camden. We all think that he's naked up this trail for some reason. So, we're not sure what we're going to see. We don't know why Dad, we Dad, carry me! No, I'm going to pull you guys over. But, we're going to go for it. And then we're going to go for a hike. Here tonight, to pay special tribute to those that came. This is cool! Look at babe, a little fire spot. Oh my gosh! Yes? Fire spot. Anybody well, want to see problem. this half an inch long spider? No. I see, I see him. Okay, let's keep going. Alright. I would hold let's a stick we, in front of you. Let's go see what we can find. Webs. Well, you go first. No. I went first on I don't have all a stick. Alright, well, I have the first piece of art. Red wow, Solo Cup. Wow, that's good art. Guys, come see this art. Nice art. Oh, I like, oh, I like this one. We got three balls. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. see this art. Girls, are you so impressed so far? Oh my, look at this, Oh, man. these are good. Some of these are good. Most of them. They're all made out of natural stuff. I mean, most of them. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a marina tree. Please water it. No. These people are so artistic. I like it. They just make art out of what they have, you know? Oh, they have feet. <laughs> he smells like crap. <laughs> Yeah. This is that uh, poisonous yeah. tree. Oh. That's why it felt so good. They call it the poison ass tree. Get it? Okay. Got it. All right. My family's hard to impress, apparently. Oh, yeah. They got high standards for their art. Oh, I like that. I think this looks great. Like and this trail is perfect. Look at how well marked this thing is. Carver sees the waves and all he wants to do is boogie board. Look at how excited he is. He took off running. Well, now the lender gives them money. They go use that money for something. And then the. Yeah, mama. For some, it's a chair, a swing. For others, for Cammy, it's her workout. I like where your head's at. It's awesome. I it was more of a workout. The boys were dying to see how the spear fishing was, so we took them out in the choppiest waters. Malia and I stayed in the dinghy while Camden caught a lobster. He even cooked it that night. On the way back to our boat, the most exciting thing happened. We saw a mama and baby dolphin. And before we even made it back to the boat, the storm hit. The winds and waves were so intense and lasted about three days. That's a lot of wind. It's scary. 
Join us next week as we meet up with our Buddy Boat families.